There we go. Okay, so if I remember right, when we left off, uh, we left off with the dredge at the gates, and then we were going to try and deal with destroying the bridge. I'm... Oh, it looks like we might have choices here. Let's check the market real quick. Anything good? Bales locket. Plus two will. Plus one armor. Plus three armor on rest. Plus two armor. No, nothing nothing really worth it. Um So the the wizard dude, the Weaver, or whatever he's called, um, was like, we should destroy the bridge, or we could go to the Great Hall and try and convince, try and convince, um, the king to let us destroy the bridge, or we could just leave now. So, I'm gonna go talk to the king. You'll do as I say. I'm not here to argue. I'm telling you that we're dying by dozens every day now. You sent our best away with Hakon. How long do you expect us to last? You asked for this command. <clears throat> command, Fesselt. Oh boy. And the uh, low, manly giant voices begin. Don't let them get across that bridge. Fesselt takes his leave just as you approach. Not great timing, you think to yourself. Thank you for the audience. I forget your name. Rook. 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 How is Ingvar? Will he survive? I think so. If I remember Ingvar well enough, he hasn't told you why he faced down Bellower, did he? No, he keeps things to himself. Yes, that sounds right. Ingvar confronted a Sundir in his youth, during the Great Wars. He won that fight. None other but the Menders have done that. Menders, that's what they're called. He proved us stronger. Maybe he thought to do it again. Ivar killed a Sundir. How did he end up in Skogar? You'd have to pry that from him yourself. I don't know. He disappeared when the last king tried to name him Kender. It occurs to you that Jorunder would not be on the throne now had that happened. Why are you here, Rook? Be brief. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lordy. This is a... This is a bunch of not great choices. Uh, yikes. So... I'm offering to help take apart the bridge. That bridge needs to be destroyed. I'm sorry to waste your time. That bridge needs to be destroyed seems like a, a bad option because it's like it's challenging his authority, right? I'm offering to help take apart the bridge. Might just make us look like an idiot because he's been pretty clear on his opinions about destroying the bridge. And I'm sorry to waste your time, gets us nowhere. Yikes. Alright, I'm gonna take a chance. I'm going to take a chance that that he appreciates boldness and will respond well to us being slightly belligerent. That bridge needs to be destroyed. Oh, you have the answers. Wonderful. Come sit upon the throne. Never mind, that was a bad idea. Every man I've ever met thinks he'd rival the gods himself, if only he were in charge. I am over 400 years old, and I know that I know little. 
You are a child, an infant, yet you know everything. Listen, human, this story is not about you. If you jumped from that bridge today, the world would not change. Now either help Fasolt retake it, or leave my city. I don't care which. Wow. Okay. We could fight on the bridge. That sounds like dying. So my problem here is like, I'd really love to agree with Yorander, but he refuses to give a reason why they're not destroying the bridge, right? Like, why not? If he has some reason other than like, pride or history, then I'd be on board. But this whole like, no, we can't do that, just because I said so, like, People are gonna... People are dying. <sighs> Personally, as a player, I want to fight on the bridge because that sounds fun. But knowing how often this game likes to screw us, um, I'm concerned that if we choose to fight on the bridge, we will get, uh, we'll get caught by the dredge and then it'll be a disaster. So I think... Maybe the right option here is to destroy the bridge. Avon nods when you tell him you'll help destroy the bridge. He reminds you of the plan. Get him out onto the bridge and give him time to strike it until it falls. Save and th There is no manual save in this game. So that's... I can't save and then decide. It's not an option. Um, get him out onto the bridge and give him time to strike it until it falls. Hold off anyone who comes to stop him. Dredge or Varl alike. Are you ready? He asks. We're ready. You follow Avon to the bridge, where the Varl are lined up to join battle. They readily let you step in for the next group, curious to watch the Mender fight. When you've killed a few, I'll begin, Avon whispers. Alright. Oh shit, right, I forgot. Okay, well we need to pull Alette out. I'll bring Fasolt in. Onef and Mogan. Fasolt, you're a shieldy dude. We'll get you up front. Does allow to load up older saves. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell how far back he has to go. Exactly. All right, I think we want this. And Onef is the, are you the, what do you do? Yeah, you're the dashy dude. Okay. To battle. Good luck us. I do not feel good about this in the slightest. Okay, Mender, you need to come to the back. Alright, my current plan is to rush this, uh, this line of, of ranged fighters and try and take them out before we get into threat range on these bigger dudes. And then what's your thing? Lightning, diagonal units. Okay, so if I can get them sort of clustered, that would be great. Can we exert? We can exert two. Okay. So we're gonna move up. We're just gonna smack this guy as hard as we can. Mm. 
Fantastic. So far so good, we've gotten one out of the way. This does put Hogan in sort of a bad position. But I think we can manage. Okay, I can't reach anyone with the mender. So we'll just end turn. Oh yeah, come here, come here. Oh shit, fuck, the mender. Damn it. You can only exert one and only deal one. <sighs> okay, so this is probably gonna be a run through. That's not good. So we can't do that. Hmm. Computers for two. Could also Reign of Arrows, which I think seems pretty good. So we might get one of these big dudes as well. Yeah! Nice. Okay, we can almost kill this guy, but not quite. This one needs some serious... Oh, shit. Damn it, I keep forgetting that Clicking it a second time is is confirm. I hate that. Uh, okay, so we can kill this guy. I think that's our best move. It does trap Hogan in if we move here, so maybe we move here instead. Double yikes. Okay, we're... We might just lose this co combat here. Uh, shit, yeah. Hmm. Could move here, dash past. That puts us in danger. But it does give block... To him and him. Doesn't do anything for Hogan unless we pull him back. Oh, Hogan is who we're playing right now. Shit. I totally missed that. Hogan is in a bad way. Okay, who comes next? This guy? He's probably just gonna take Hogan out. Hmm. I don't think we have a good move here. I'm just gonna be conservative and move to here to try and set up for another turn. Assuming I don't die immediately. Okay, this could be good. Can we... Lightning? It's diagonals that might hit this guy. Will that, will that hit Fasholt? Let's move... to here, because this is about to be a defended position. Lightning this one. A lot.
might hit Fessel. That did not hit this guy. Okay. Noted. So we're screwed. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, honestly, I think we just lose. Does that mean we lose the game? What happens? I mean, we kind of auto lose anyway, because if everybody's injured, we don't have the food to rest at all, which means we will just lose it. I'll pr I'm probably going to save scum this, honestly. diagonal from that, so I should move. How exactly does the armor and health system work? Hey, nice. So, health isn't, isn't health, it's strength. Um, and it is both your health and your damage. So, lowering someone's Damn it, or health also lowers their damage, which is great, uh, but armor reduces all damage coming in. So, since I have, uh, say, Fasselt has, has 10 strength right now, and this creature has 9 armor, that means Fasselt is going to deal 1 point of damage. If there is more armor than you have strength, so, like, if, if Odleaf, uh, attacks right here, it reduces the chance to hit by, I think, 10% for every point. It might be 5% for every point of, of difference. So, that's, that's how that works. Ouch. That sucks. Eight, so that would be lethal damage. So we need to attack and hope that we hit. Didn't work. Hey, Fasselt's down. So that's good. <laughs> Shit. Alright, let's fuck this guy up. So she wasn't in range. Shit, she can't get in range. That's bad. Take him out. Okay, we just barely survived. 
right. If we have to do any other combat, we are not going to win. <laughs> oh, that's really bad. So, 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 so bad. <laughs> Oh god. For seven, whole renown, yay! At a break in the fighting, Avon starts to rain down lightning on one of the bridge's supports further ahead. Dredge respond with confusion, shuffling away from the area. Then the Varl notice. What are you doing? shouts Fasolt. Several more Varl join him. Avon is locked on his task. Stop! Shouts Fasolt, drawing his weapon. The others follow suit, ready to attack. I'm gonna try. Stay close, you tell the others, drawing your axe. Alette is shaking so hard you can see it from a distance. With a shout, Fasolt attacks. We are so boned. Get Krumer in here. Let's get Hogan in here. Because he's just he's a body. <laughs> and let's do our best. Gun buddy mas. <laughs> Varla gonna murder you good. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Um I'm gonna let them come to me, because I don't think they have any ranged characters. Yeah, I'm gonna let them come to me and do my best to uh, pelt them from range. Oh, I should move up, I guess. I feel bad about fighting fossils, to be honest, but oh well. I should have powered that up. We're gonna move here and then dash through, and I think that takes him out. Not quite. But Oddleaf will have it. Alright, let's see how we do. I want to get their strength down so that they don't just take us out in one hit. I am going to... What's your special ability? Forge ahead. That gives someone a turn immediately. Yeah, I'm going to take another turn on Rook. I guess not immediately, but after then. Oh boy. This one's going next? Okay. We can almost take this one out. I'm gonna leave this one to Oddleaf. Is 
starting to lose our formation a little bit. So I'm thinking we might want to just move. Like, just shift the whole party over. I'm gonna try that. Ah, oh, shit. I should have moved him here instead because he gets plus one damage for adjacent allies. Ooh, Onuf's going down. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, we need to leave room for... Big Dude. So I'm just going to move up to here. I guess Big Dude doesn't need that room. Here. Hmm. No, this is good. This is good. Move up here. I'm going to chip away at this guy. Alright, and now it's Onef's turn. Onef is going to take this guy out. Oh, that's only a 50% chance. Never mind. Onef is going to Let's see two break on each tile, then normal strength damage to target. That would kill him. It would also put Onef in a really dangerous position. So I'm just gonna dash through to the other side, and either that will put him somewhere safe, or it will draw Varl away from the core of our party. Deflected, yeah. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's a good thought for a moment. I want to keep Oddleaf out of danger as best as possible. Only 70%. Ooh, that's not good. I didn't realize his strength was that low right now. Alright, good luck. Come on. Shit. Okay. We're probably going to lose. Um, what's your break? Two with an exert of three. Break the heck through that. Don't die! Shit! We can kill this guy. I think we might be able to kill this guy. No, probably not. Yeah. Shit. Oh, this hurts. This hurts a lot. That guy has a lot of strength. He's coming up soon, right? Uh, not quite. He's the last one. We might be able to kill this guy. It's slim. We're not going to get a whole lot in on this guy right now, so... Bloody flail it is. Good luck. Nope. Oh, Jesus. Hey, good job, Oddleif. That is what I'm talking about. Shouldn't he have bonus damage because he's missing armor? Is there something I don't understand? Bonus damage to targets who have lost armor if the archer has not moved. Oh. Shit. And he's the only valid target, so woohoo! Fuck. Uh, 
you have no energy. We can get you one. Crap, that's not enough. Okay, who's going next? You're next? You have so much health, though. And we just need to start reducing the damage that's coming in. I'm gonna take this guy out because he has so much armor. Yeah, this is bad. It's real bad. Could take this one out. Or we can pierce this one. We would have to move. Hmm. Who's next? This one? First this one? Okay, yeah, we should kill this guy. That means this guy takes a turn. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. That will protect Rook. Oh boy. Oh boy, Rook. Alrighty. Can move here and attack to take this guy out. Heck, we can move here and attack to take him out. I think we should do that. Alright, alright. Doing okay. That's not good. That's real bad. That is so bad. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see what we can do. It's gonna attack. Uh, okay, Oddleaf can take him out. Don't die. Don't die this turn. You're gonna die this turn. Shit. What is your movement? I am safe where I am. And I cannot move any further. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I actually can't hit you without getting into- God damn it! This is the worst thing about archers. Archers should be able to deal damage without moving into a range where they're... Like, this guy can move up to any point that I could shoot from and hit me. And that should not be a thing. Alright, well... It's kite time, I guess. Where do I think they're gonna move? Nope. So you can move here. Oh, I only have one exert. Shit. Okay, yeah, I've lost.
We. It literally doesn't matter. So, oh right, there's a minimum range. Mm. And then she goes down. Yay! I'm not salty. I'm very salty. I feel like I played that pretty well, honestly. But now I'm just totally boned. Rough hands from a screaming mob of Mar Varl pull you from the ground where you lie broken from your beating and drag you to the Great Hall. Yay! Love this. Was there not just one thing I demanded of you? Yorander launches from his throne, pointing an axe in your direction. You've broken this alliance, human. Man and Varl are no friend to each other. Yay! Fucking great! Blah, 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 blah. I don't... F get me out of here. <laughs> I don't even want to read that. No, fuck this. <laughs> that is some bullshit. Oh, and our is our save now? Does it force you to win the fights? And if there are game over fights or only bad things? I think it's only bad things that happen when you don't win. Which, like, is fine. It's... There's a particular aspect of this game which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but which I do not enjoy. Uh, which is, like, the series of compounding problems. Um, in that, if you don't play the game perfectly early on, which I didn't, because I was new to the game, you can fuck yourself later, and that's where I'm at now. Um, so let's load this. Because even... Okay, let's... Blah, 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 blah. Can we skip this? Whoop. <laughs> Cutscene. Um... I'm just gonna mute this while I talk, and we uh, work, or I, 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 bleh, while we skip through it. Uh, oh fuck, I don't remember what my choices were. It was Juno. Oh shit, fuck. Tit, bitches, motherfucker. Ah. Uh. Sorry, I'm a little tilted. <laughs> Uh, so where I'm at, even if I can eke out some kind of victory in those fights, because they are intended to be difficult, I'm going to lose some people, right? People are going to go down. And I am at, I have two days of supplies right now. Um, I have two days of supplies and people only heal if you rest for a day. It's not like time traveled, eventually they heal up. It is specifically resting. And that means until I get a pile of supplies, I cannot recover my units for combat. I just can't. So... That means any combat encounter I get into, I'm going to be at a serious disadvantage. And that disadvantage snowballs, because if they get injured again, then their injury just lasts longer, and their initial strength at the start of a fight is even lower. I am a mender. Wait, did, is that not what we chose? But your memory is still fuzzy. You're certain you know nothing about an enormous serpent. What do your prophecies say? Oh, no. No, okay. That's that's the same. Gods are dead. Blah, blah, blah. Do you know gods? You're not a god. What do you know? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. <sighs> 
And I wish there were a manual safe. I really do. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. We need to get to Sko not Skoger. Um Skier something. Then we have this conversation. I'm gonna take this opportunity to maybe do this conversation a little different. Contacted you how? She's not like most menders. Sigurholm. Need to understand a few things. I went the frog kill and destroy the bridge. Blah, blah blah. How would you collapse that bridge by yourself? Yep, yep. What do we do about Bellower? Can't stop him. Possibly run away. That serpent, Bellower, explanation, exposition. Any time to think about this. Okay. This is where we were at the start of the day. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Here's the plan. I'm gonna go to the Great Hall. I'm gonna try the other dialogue option for taking out the bridge. If we can't convince him, I am going to join the fight. And we will see if there's some... Secret, uh, no, no safe. Uh, if there's some secret wisdom to leaving the bridge up rather than ending the alliance between two entire races, do as I say, blah 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 blah. Forget your name, Rook. How's Ingvar? Uh, he keeps things to himself. Killed a Sunder. Alright. Mulfram to help take apart the bridge. Human, if there is one more mention of that bridge, Yorinder's mood changes almost instantly. If you have nothing else to say, get out of my damned hall. What is so important about that bridge? Oh god, yeah, yeah, yes. If you jump from the bridge, the world wouldn't change. Fucking Christ! I'm feeling more and more like my choices don't actually matter in this game, which is a big pet peeve of mine. It's not even a pet peeve. It's bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. it's bad design. If you're going to put choices in a game, they have to matter. If the choices don't matter, don't give them to players. The illusion of choice is not choice and will frustrate players if they notice that's what you've given them. Every time. Just don't make it an option. I'm gonna fight on the bridge. At the war front, rows of Varl are lined up, waiting for their turn to fill in as the warriors on the bridge battle dredge in one endless churn of bodies and blood. Fasolt catches your eye in between giving orders. You lost, human? He says. Offer to help. Fair enough, Fasolt admits. I'm not going to argue against putting you on the bridge. But we've got plenty of wounded here as well, if you can work a needle. We can treat the wounded. That's a thing we can do. You spend a day alongside Alette and many others tending to wounded Varl, of which there are many. The work is hard and bloody, and after a long day, you excuse yourself to wash off and find a place to sleep while the fighting continues unabated. And we lost one of our two days of... Shit. You approach the bridge, which gets a raised eyebrow from Fasolt, who is lugging a dead warrior over his shoulder. Back for more? He says, glancing out onto the bridge. You can tell that they've lost ground on the bridge since yesterday. What's the plan here? You ask with concern. I just do what you're under- Sorry. I just do what you're under tells me, replies Fasolt. And right now, we're killing every dredge on that bridge. So throw in or piss off. If you don't want to fight, help me clear bodies off the bridge. Our warriors are getting choked up around them. 
Help remove the bodies. And now my people will start to starve. You follow Fasolt, making several dangerous trips near the battleground to pull bodies back to the city. The sight of you and other men struggling to carry lifeless giant bodies would be comical if the circumstances weren't so grievous. Your whole body is aching when you stop for the day. The bodies seem to pile up almost as quickly as you can remove them, and the work is heartbreaking. Morale improved. Seven people, ten people, thirteen people starved to death. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep doing this until it stops letting me or all of my people starve to death. And then we're going to save scum. <laughs> As you approach on the third day, the warriors are in more disarray than usual. Where's Fasolt? You ask one of the passing Varl. Didn't make it, he replies. Dredge are nearly at the mouth of the bridge, barely held back. Your mind starts to wander into dark places. Okay, so now Fasolt died. <sighs> You snap back to attention when you realize nearly the entire army of Varl are staring in your direction. Ivor walks past, shuffling slowly with an enormous axe in his remaining hand. He heads toward the bridge. Ivor! You yell, but he doesn't reply, plunging his axe into the nearest dredge before kicking it over the side of the bridge. Come on! He screams at the Black Horde. Cursing, you rush to his side in battle. Okay, here we go. Hey, it looks like we rested up, though. Did we secretly... Did we find the correct solution? Oof, that only one arm, though. Still has a battering ram and heavy impact. Hot damn, what a badass he is. Okay. You currently have plus two on arm, armor on rest, and this is plus two strength resist, plus two drawing aggro. That does not sound good for you. Can also get Mogan in here. We could get Krumer, who has the extra turn or the turn order swap thing. Uh, but I think more damage is more useful. We want Ivor near the front. Avend. How much pierce do you have? One and two, and then three exert. Then you have two and one exert. Can we promote you? Can we afford that? No. Okay, yeah. I think we want Odleif. Well. Hmm. What's your power? It's the pierce through. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna... This will be our lineup. Good luck to us. Let's not get fucked by the story. I mean, we're gonna get fucked by the story, but... Oh, Jesus. This is not good. Okay. Here's the plan. Form a semi-defensive line. And then put ranged people right up front so that we can... Uh, pelt as things get closer. Try and whittle them down a little bit before they get too close. This thing we need to take out. So actually, let's start our party over here. Because uh, we want to get early damage in on that guy. We're not going to go to meet them, we are going to kite. Stay here. Going to kite. Play patient, let them come to me. How far can you move? Okay, so I can't move up without getting into serious danger. can move here, I think, reasonably. God, I 
hate that there's no way to get in range without getting in range of their damage. I feel like the archers need more range in this game. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna rest and hope that it gives us was or er, willpower. Okay. What life? Pierce. Take the shots when we can get them. Okay. There we go. What is the range on our lightning? Not very high. So we're going to move up just a bit. Okay, how far out of range are we? Like two squares. So we're going to move two squares. Buff that up. I'm going to move out here to tr start intercepting these incoming troops. When do you go? You go after Alette. You're down to nine strength, though. So I might be able to get something off of your off of our frenzy. Or our bloody flail. Okay, pretty good. Oh, that's not good. We need more armor on Rook. Let's see, we can move here. Wait, why is our exert zero? What? Weird. Alright, um. Oh, do we have a status effect? Sunstrike, no exertion. Okay. Okay, so both of our our archers are in range, so what I'm going to do is move up and mark prey. This does put me in a vulnerable position, but that's fine. It should be worth it. worth a go. Oh, Jesus Christ, my dude. This guy now has access to our archers, which is not good. Oh, wonderful. This is all bad news bears. Come on.
down he goes. Oh, not quite. All right. Well, this is our best chance at taking the big guy out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Solves that problem, but we've got a bunch of others. Yep, like that, for example. <laughs> okay, we can take this guy out. Who goes next? That one. And then this one. Okay, hopefully Oddleaf can take that guy out. If we can do this with only one person going down, that's very good, I think. Move out here, which gets us away from this melee guy, which is nice. And that takes... Okay, okay. Making it work. Anyone low on armor at all? Not really. Okay, we're gonna try and mend. Oh, that's bad. What a badass. That's two down. That's workable. Come on, stay in range, you piece of shit! Nice! Ah, oh, shit, not quite. Okay. Pull back so that this guy has to get closer in order to attack, and then take this one out. Get fucked. Alright, that does it. <sighs> no, don't end turn. Kill this guy. Kill kill him dead. Alright. That could have gone slightly better. It could have gone much worse. I think staying back for a while worked out pretty well. <laughs>